I suppose I've become a bit misanthropic to a degree, particularly since, you know, COVID and then we had the lockdowns and the masks and the rise of Karens on all sides and watching right-wingers minimize what happened on January 6th. I'll also admit to watching compilations like You Can't Stop Progress from I Hypocrite. But it hasn't been a healthy mindset for me. It seems that I've just not been trusting humankind in general. But I also haven't wanted to avoid humans either, so I don't know what you call that exactly. But uh, after a libertarian made a video response to my video about libertarianism, and they thankfully had decent subscribers, there weren't tons of people swarming my video, that was nice. I had a number of conversations with people there on that video, people who I still view as being pretty naive about human nature and human instincts. But in the process of talking to people like that, it kind of made me realize, hey, uh, yeah, I'm really viewing humanity very, very negatively. Like there's hardly anything good about it. And that's not good. I think a little more balance on my part would be the best course of action, you know, between <laughs> being misanthropic and being, you know, like a libertarian. When I've been at my happiest, I've usually had a better view of humankind, so... I think some of the more extreme voices you hear on the left and the loudest voices on the left, which I seem to have succumbed to, to a certain degree anyway, are far too distrusting of society. You know, far too hateful towards traditionalists. Far too ready to essentially label evil anyone who doesn't fit into the tribe. Yeah, hate doesn't spread love. It doesn't matter who you're hating, even if you're hating the haters. It doesn't make their hate go away, so why spend the emotional energy on them? How does it help anything? If you end up being even more hateful than the people that you hate, how does that help you or the message you're trying to spread? You don't stop hate with hate. Intentions mean a lot. If we're trying to create some world where intentions don't matter, I'd like to opt out. There may be a lot of hateful people out there, but there are far more people who are just trying to be the best people they know how to be. Key phrase, they know how to be. If someone treats me well, what difference does it make if they think I'm some sort of abomination, if they even know about my sexuality to begin with? Who cares? They're treating me decently. I'm not going to change their views. I, I mean, the only chance I have of changing their views, really, is if I can prove that I'm not what stereotypes they have in their heads. Of course, if it's for religious reasons, like I mentioned, like an abomination sort of thing, I suppose there's nothing I can do. But, uh, you know, again, if they treat me decently, why should I get all bent out of shape over what someone thinks about my demographic? So, yeah, I'm not going to change their views and I'm not going to throw away their kindness just because of what I assume their beliefs are about my demographic. I mean, they may not even say anything. Maybe they're they just wear something that shows they're a Christian or something. You know, should I assume automatically that, that they hate me? Or that they would hate me if they knew more about me? If we paid more attention to people's intentions, rather than whether they're looking at things the way we want them to, things would be quite a bit more peaceful. You know, that would be a great way of achieving more peace. But I don't think peace is even on the table for a lot of left-wing activists and commentators. Peace doesn't seem to be in the cards. The hippies have grown old, most of them have died, and their message has died with them. I think people on the right pay attention to people's intentions far more than the left does. I mean, generally anyway. And this may be where some of the disconnect between the different sides resides. The right wing really needs to look at the results of their ideas more than they do. For instance, what happens when you make abortions illegal? Well, people get illegal backdoor abortions. What happens if they're successful in pushing abstinence-only education, you know, sex education, in schools? Well, you get a higher percentage of teenage pregnancies. What happens when they push for trickle-down economics? Well, rich people get richer. Well, what happens when they gut regulations? Well, the reasons why those regulations existed in the first place are going to show their ugly head again. The left wing needs to analyze their intentions more. You know, when, when they're activists, what are they actually... I mean, they could say a bunch of virtue signaling, but when they're actually doing something, what are the intentions of their actions? 
you know, what kind of actual messages are being spread? Is some of the intention to silence some people? How can we show that we give a shit about people who view things differently than us? How can we come across as more reasonable? I mean, if you don't care whether you're reasonable or not, then, yeah, what are, what are your intentions? What are your actual intentions? You, again, you can virtue signal all you want, but, but if you don't care how you come off, then you don't have good intentions. I made, made it sound like the right has all this stuff that need, they need to look at the results of their, their, their proposed legislation, but the left needs to do the same thing. I mean, the left seems to refuse to look at the results of their immigration policies. You know, the results of some of their failed programs to address homelessness. They're not actually tackling homelessness. They're just throwing money here and there and acting as though that's going to just take care of the problem. But it's really hard to even say the left as far as that goes anyway, because, I mean, most Democrats are neoliberals. They're not really on the left. You know, they're not, they're not to the left of the center point on the political spectrum. Yeah, they're to the left of the Republicans for sure but they're not on the left side of the political spectrum. Not really, especially when you compare us to the rest of the world. So when I'm talking about the left here, I I'm not really talking about the Democrats that much because, uh, I mean, here comes my misanthropic attitudes again. You know, I think both parties are shit. Both the Democrats and the Republicans, they're both shit. You know, it'd be nice if we actually had a real left-right paradigm, but but we don't. It's it's this shit, you know? But if, if we on the left want to fundamentally change just about everything about this country, can we really say that we love this country? I mean, maybe some people don't. Maybe there's a lot of people that don't. And, and some of that can be understandable. There, there's so many things that we need to make better for, for this, the people living in this country. You know, we need universal health care for sure. We need cheaper colleges. Or we need to Try to see if there's something we can do to make it so a college education isn't required to get just, I mean, to get anywhere. I mean, it, so often the things that people end up learning in college don't even apply very much to the jobs they eventually get. So, yeah, something should be changed about that in some way. I mean, there are people who are pushing communism. There are people that are pushing for, you know, to get rid of capitalism. I, I understand why you want to get rid of capitalism, and there's there have been a point, a few points over this, you know, this year, where I thought, hmm, well, maybe, uh, maybe uh, uh, socialism as a as a, an economic system, maybe that's not that bad. I've seen so many success stories in capitalism that I'm just like, okay, well, we need to just try to see if we can make this work for everyone. So, you know, I believe in a hybrid government, you know, we, we have a hybrid government now. I believe in a heavily regulated capitalistic economic system. It's the only way things have really been proven to work. But we do need to make a lot of changes to this country. That doesn't mean we abandon the country's foundations. I mean, yeah, abandon the culture that started this country, yeah, that's fine. But don't abandon the Constitution and its amendments, please. But I'm tired of viewing everyone and everything so negatively. It's not doing me any good. Yeah, it would be foolish for me to have a libertarian level naivety about human nature. But I need to step away from this somewhat misanthropic view of the world. Anyway, thanks for watching.